misery. Look at everybody's running over there. Look at him go. And the young one now is going, holy shit. I measured him the other day, he's 14 feet long. Yeah, I'd get out of the way there, little guys. You know, that's too bad because I hope that little guy doesn't go off the end. Yeah, he's going up and over the rocks, which is not going to make the seagulls very happy. Hey, big fella. Yes, you're the star. This guy's a YouTube sensation. Sorry about the shaky cam. They tend to, uh, have about 20 seconds of activity and then they, re, uh, then they relax for a little bit. He's not a bad guy, he's just enormous. And he pretty much does whatever he wants. Meanwhile, this guy's going, yeah, I'm not so sure about this. Oh, going up and over, are you? Oh, I wonder if he's going to squish some eggs. Yeah, that's a good plan there, Stan. Yes. Oh, bugger off. I'm up on the rock, so it's not, not as dangerous as it may appear. Yeah, you're not as dangerous as you may appear. Unless I slip and fall. <clears throat> so yeah, there he goes over, over the top. He'll be okay over there. Yeah, I'm glad you're back, my friend. And where exactly are we? Race Rocks Ecological Preserve. Beautiful British Columbia. Southernmost point in Western Canada.
You can see the tide rip there. It's, uh, it's ebbing. It's a bit of a southeast today. Oh. This is a gull nesting colony. And an elephant seal nesting colony it appears. We've had a lot of uh, a lot of changes in the last few years. They, this is uh, this has become Elephant Seal Central in uh, in BC. Uh, I mean, we're only talking ten animals, but uh, consider that's uh, that's half of what the population was reduced to in the uh, late 1880s. So, but this guy is. Uh, this guy is El Jefe. This is the This guy is a ruler. Yeah. Ah, a boy. Just chill out, eh? They love the grass, and the funny thing is, grass is, you know, there's no grass anywhere else that they might happen to uh, haul out. This is uh, extremely unique. Usually they're in sort of desert islands. Oh, look at you. a boy. Well, he'll probably be here for a day or two. See the scars on his back where... Uh... You got him? Someone, uh... I think that was another bull that did it to him, though. Don't bother. Uh, wow, thanks for that though. That's some good footage. <laughs> yeah, it's weird to feel such affection. <laughs> such a such an amazing creature. Wow, I could literally feel my body shake when he did that. I felt that in my lungs. Sorry, my uh, camera work leaves a little to be desired. Oh, that's just so awe-inspiring when he does that. I mean, I'm sure you have to be here to really appreciate it, but uh, I hope I'm. I hope you're getting the gist. This is uh, this is one of the most awe-inspiring creatures on the planet, just for sheer mass. And as you begin to learn more about their uh, their life, you become even more impressed. Their ability to dive, uh, you know, 1,500 meters. These males can make it down that deep. Uh, the fact that when they're at sea, they spend um, more than 85% of the time underwater. And uh, and just the remarkable rebound they've had. There was a time when 
they figured they were down to about 20 individuals uh, in, and one male and uh, because the sealers had killed every other one of them you could get a uh, close to 100 gallons of, of oil from one of these guys and uh, so it was seemed to be worth uh, hunting them to extinction for a few barrels of oil uh, the Smithsonian went on a research trip they found eight of them on an offshore island they shot seven of them, uh, which is how conservationists or scientists used to operate. Uh, fortunately, the Mexican government uh, protected them, and, the, and eventually they were given protected status. But that's why you can't trust profiteers. They will they will kill the goose that laid the golden egg for a few extra. A few extra dollars, a little advantage over the other guy. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna wander over. We'll wander by uh, the little guy and. Or... Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Good to see you back. Good to see you back, my friend. I have a good snooze. I'll come out and visit later this afternoon. I call this guy Chunk because he's, he's He's got some nasty propeller lacerations in his back as you can see. This guy is considerably less worried about me. Looks like he's starting to molt. Look at his nose, eh? This one would be about six, six years old or so.